Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus which are contained in the Gospels. And this week, two parables about bothering people, the parable of the friend at night and the parable of the unjust judge, both found in the Gospel of Luke. Let's take a look. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go to him at midnight, and shall say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, because a friend of mine is come off his journey to me, and I have not what to set before him? Luke 11, 5-6 In this parable, we have a man who goes to his friend's house in the middle of a night looking for some bread to give to a visitor. That's pretty annoying at the best of times, though it would probably have been more understandable in the culture of Jerusalem, where hospitality was such a big issue. And he from within should answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed, I cannot rise and give thee. Luke eleven seven. The man's friend was in bed and didn't want to be bothered. Yet if he shall continue knocking, I say to you, although he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. Importunity refers to being rushed and persistent. In other words, because he's persistent enough, his friend lets him have what he's asking for. Jesus uses this parable to explain the importance of persistence, especially in our relationship with God, as we'll see in the next parable. And he spoke also a parable to them, that we ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was a judge in a certain city who feared not God nor regarded man. Luke 18, 1-2 Judges who don't fear men are very rare and precious. This basically means that this man didn't care about any authority figure's views. However, the fact that he doesn't fear God spoils it. Fear of God is what encourages us to do the right thing, and without that nobody can really be trusted. And there was a certain widow in that city, and she came to him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Luke 18.3 we're not told exactly what the widow's legal problem was, and there's not enough evidence to make an educated guess. Still, the fact that this verse explicitly mentions that she's a widow, and that she has an adversary, an enemy, seems to hint at her husband's death being caused unjustly by her enemy in some way. That interpretation fits well with her role in this parable. And he would not, for a long time. But afterwards he said within himself, Although I fear not God, nor regard man... Luke 18.4. The judge has been refusing to provide her with a just verdict for quite some time. This verse also indicates that he's well aware that he doesn't fear God, and probably isn't the least bit sorry. Some people are like that. Yet because this widow is troublesome to me, I will avenge her, lest continually coming she weary me. Luke 18.5a. She's a pain in the neck bothering me all the time, so why don't I just give her what she wants? Then she can stop bugging me. In some cases, it really is that simple. Some people really do just want something that it's just for them to have, and when they get it, they leave you alone, or even thank you. On the other hand, there are some people who are never satisfied, no matter how much you give them. People who act like children, always pushing the envelope further and further, and never showing any gratitude for favors. Those people should be denied special considerations, because it only encourages them to demand more and more. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and will not God revenge his elect who cry to him day and night, and will he have patience in their regard? I say to you, that he will quickly revenge them. But yet the Son of Man, when he cometh, shall he find, think you, faith on earth? Luke 18, 5b-8 to This is the connection that Jesus wants to draw with these parables, the importance of persisting in our spiritual life and in our prayers to God. We should never give up. God will hear the prayers of his suffering children and take action to punish those who cause their suffering. However, he adds a warning at the end, asking whether he'll find faith, meaning either belief in God or faithfulness to God, or both, on earth when he returns. I wish I could answer that question, but the future is God's territory. Next, the faithful servant. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.